I. If the defect I found is rejected by the developer, first of all, I try to understand why the developer rejected it and search for it. So, the first thing I would do is to read the reasons that the developer sent to me and try to understand why. If the developer's reason or let's say reasons for rejecting is correct to, correct to me, then I change my test cases accordingly and retest the software again. If I find any bug again, then I send it back to the developer for the second time. If the developer rejects the bug I found again, but 100% if I am sure that the bug is correct, then I go talk with the developer face to face. Because I believe that communication and interaction are so important in sorting out any problem both in life and the working environment. Moreover, as a QA tester, I am very well aware of the fact that there are some issues that I should always keep in mind and pay attention to when or let's say while discussing any topic with a developer. For example, developers and testers often think differently. The primary objective of a developer is to design and build a product, whereas the objectives of a QA tester include verifying and validating the product, finding defects before release and so on. Of course, these are different sets of objectives requiring different mindsets. Because of this reason, bringing these different mindsets together helps to achieve a higher level of product quality together with the QA tester and developer. So, while discussing the bug issue with the developer, the way I always follow is to start and maintain collaboration and understanding each other rather than battles or fights. And I kindly express my sincere intention for the developer to understand that my real purpose as an asset is never a personal thing. On the contrary, my greatest effort is to support the acquisition of quality and bug-free software with a professional approach. I mean that I should remind the developer of the common goal of, let's say, better quality applications together. Additionally, during my communication with the developer, I stay in neutral, fact focused way without crit criticizing him or her. And I try to understand how the developer feels and the reasons he or she may react negatively to the information. Let's say based on this case or situation, if the developer still rejects the bug I found without giving any valid reason for it, then I will never go any further. And I go talk with the QA test lead and explain the problem or problems in details and ask the QA uh, test lead to help me with this reason, with this problem. Thank you so much.